Here I have ZT Accent Mini and let me show you how to go through the initializing setup process on the following device. So let me show you how to activate this phone. At the very beginning let me start by using a welcome panel. Here we've got full list of available language that you can use on this device. And in my case let me choose just English for instance from United States. You may also choose emergency right here to make some emergency calls if you need something. If not let's go back and let me press the next arrow right here. You can insert SIM card, but you can also activate your phone without the SIM card. So let me do it that way. For now, let me just tap skip. Now the device is looking for available Wi-Fi and you can connect your device to one of the Wi-Fi. I usually recommend this step, so it's always a good idea to have an internet connection. So let me connect my device. Let's choose connect. The device is obtaining IP address, wait a couple of seconds and the phone is checking connection. This can take up to 2 minutes. Now the phone is checking for updates. And now you can add a Google account to your device. You can do it in two ways. You can create a new Google account or use an existing one. You may also of course skip this point by tapping skip. But having a an Google account connected to your device enables you some interesting features, so let me do it. Let me enter my email. Then let's tap next. Now it's time to enter a password, so let me do it. Excellent. Afterwards, let's tap next. If everything is alright, let's, uh, let's accept terms of service and privacy policy. So let me tap accept. The phone is checking info. And now the device is asking you to set up payment information. You don't have to do this, you can do it later, so let me choose Remind Me Later and let me just skip this point. Now you have to decide that you would like to restore your apps and settings from one of your older devices, or you can just choose Setup as a new device, tap Done, and let me have a fresh start, let's choose next. Now you can protect your device by using a screen lock or you can do it later. So for now let me just choose skip, skip anyway. Here we've got a couple of features from Google services that you can enable or disable. For example you can back up your phone's apps, app data settings, personal dictionaries and Wi-Fi passwords. You may also use Google's location service to help apps determine your location. You may help improve location services and help improve your Android experience. In my case, let me leave all of these features enabled and let's tap next. And you can also add a fingerprint in order to use a fingerprint protection. In my case, let me choose skip, tap start and that's it. As you can see now you can use your device, you just activate your phone. Thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel and leave thumbs up under the video.